It is the mark of a higher culture to value the little unpretentious truths which have been discovered by means of rigorous method more highly than the errors handed down by metaphysical and artistic ages and men, which blind us and make us happy. At first the former are regarded with scorn, as though the two things could not possibly be accorded equal rights. They stand there so modest, simple, sober, so apparently discouraging, while the latter are so fair, splendid, intoxicating, perhaps indeed enrapturing. Yet that which has been attained by laborious struggle, the certain, enduring, and thus of significance for any further development of knowledge, is nonetheless the higher. To adhere to it is manly, and demonstrates courage, simplicity, and abstemiousness. Gradually not only the individual, but all mankind, will be raised to this manliness, when they have finally become accustomed to valuing viable, enduring knowledge more highly, and lost all faith in inspiration and the acquisition of knowledge by miraculous means. Worshippers of form, with their standards of the beautiful and sublime, will, to be sure, at first have good ground for mockery, once estimation of unpretentious truths and the scientific spirit begin to dominate, but only because either their eye has not yet discovered the charm of the simplest form, or because those raised in that spirit are as yet very far from being thoroughly permeated by it, so that they still thoughtlessly imitate old forms, and do so badly as does everyone to whom a thing no longer matters very much. Formerly, the spirit was not engaged in rigorous thinking. Its serious occupation was the spinning out of forms and symbols. That has now changed. Serious occupation with the symbolic has become a mark of a lower culture. As our arts themselves grow ever more intellectual, our senses more spiritual, and as, for example, we now adjudge what is pleasant sounding quite differently from the way we did a hundred years ago, so the forms of our life will grow ever more spiritual, and perhaps to the eye of earlier ages uglier, but only because it is incapable of seeing how the realm of inner spiritual beauty is continually growing deeper and wider, and to what extent we may all now accord the eye of insight greater value than the fairest structure or the sublimest edifice.